Hello. In this session, we will further move our session in finding the vulnerabilities. So previously we had seen Nessus tool and we have find a lot many vulnerabilities in our XP machine. In this session, we will, one, we will use one more tool to find vulnerabilities in our different virtual machine. This time we are using Metasploitable 2 which is a vulnerable machine and you can find it from the internet. My machine resources are very limited and that's why sometimes uh, you will not see anything because it is completely hanging. So you can see that it is a Metasploitable 2 having an IP address of 192.168.117.135. I cannot use XP because of this limitation. I do not have a good processor and because of that I cannot use two virtual machine at a time. So here I'm using a very, um, I mean, uh, very deprecated Metasploitable 2 uh, which has a very limited um, consumption of processing processing power that's why I'm using Metasploitable 2 and I alternately I have an attacker machine which is my parrot machine so I will use nmap which is basically a port scanning tool uh, I'm, I'm going to use this nmap tool to find vulnerabilities in Metasploitable 2 right so what can I do is earlier we have a, a session on nmap where we had seen port scanning a different type of port scanning we have seen right um, in this session, I'm going to use the same tool, I mean uh, the nmap, but this time I'm going to use one of its best feature and that is the nmap security engine. So an, nmap is not only a port scanning tool, but it, it, it will going to uh, find the different vulnerabilities uh, in, the op in the different virtual machine or different operating system or whatsoever IP address you're going to provide it. It's not only limited to uh, the um, uh, I mean the operating system it it can be a server IP address it could be a website IP address or any other uh, resource IP address it's gonna find the vulnerabilities inside the resource and gonna tell you in this command prompt so let's see that how nmap can be used as um, a, a security engine so basically nmap has different uh, you know scripts by which you can find the vulnerabilities and all those scripts is sitting in one of the folder of uh, this operating system so let's see so you can find if you go to cd um, sorry if you go to user share and uh, i just uh, lost i'm sorry okay and map and then if you find a script so this specific position uh, your scripts are sitting and if you see ls command and all these are scripts uh, you can use one of the uh, one of the option and you can call one of these uh, script to see that uh, any uh, you know loophole or any weaknesses uh, is there in my metasploitable 2 or any other target machine so you can see all these scripts are having an extension dot nse which is a security engine of nmap right this dot nse so you can create your own script in and you can I put your script in the form of NSE inside this uh, uh, this folder uh, here user share and map scripts and you can call these uh, scripts with the help of one of the op option of nmap right so let's see let's say that if you uh, if you want to see one of the um, what you can say one of the one of the script and if you want to see the detail uh, functions that what it gonna provide you then you can use something called as help command so let's say that uh, maybe if I want to use um, um, maybe if I want to use let's say um, um, let me go for something something which I know <laughs> um, maybe if you can go for NFS LS which is actually a very good tool uh, sorry good uh, you can see the script um, well, basically, if you are having an older version of NF, you will nmap. You will not find NFS LS in the script folder. You can download it from this resource here, um, uh, NSE doc. Inside that, we have script NFS ls.html. So this will basically gonna provide you the uh, the link where you can download this script. You download it from here, 
and then put that script in the uh, script folder of nmap and then you can have this nfs dash ls nse here in the folder so how you can get to know the details of the script basically you can type uh, you know clear the screen first of all and then you type nmap then script uh, then e dash help and then default so you can use this as an option uh, help as default it will gonna show you all the you know uh, basically the the list of all scripts with this command uh, but specifically if you are interested in one of the uh, i mean one of the uh, script then you can type the script name here nfs dash ls so you will see that it will provide you the complete description of uh, the uh, this nfs ls you can see that it can be used to uh, basically enumerate and uh, basically it is a, a file system um, name file system it will tell you all about the file permissions or any file that is uh, you know publicly available in the folder or in the nfs so sometimes it happens that you can find ssh uh, credential here or any other login credential uh, sitting in the text format here in the nfs ls uh, there are other uh, tools you can there are other scripts as well you can find the details uh, let's say that um, uh, ftp anon is there let's say um, i remember this uh, where is that yeah so instead of that if i use ftp and then will and this will basically uh, it says that if an anonymous is allowed or not in the ftp so it will tell you that uh, there, there is an, an anonymous um, user is allowed in the, allowed or not in the ftp server anonymous login uh, by means of that so it checks if, if an ftp server allows any anonymous logins so if you do not have any kind of login credential you can directly go with any anonymous login credential and it will the ftp server is uh, is going to allow you right so that we can check with the help of ftp dash anon in the same way there are many others you can type uh, whichever uh, interest you or whatsoever you had find initially in the enumerating phase right so we can use uh, you know many of these uh, uh, these uh, uh, scripts in order to find uh, vulnerabilities inside our target machine so how can i use it so you can use like uh, maybe you can type nmap dash script and then you just have to provide the script name using this assignment operator so i'm gonna say like ftp and then and uh, then i'm gonna say that the ip address of my metask writable tool so my ip address of uh, the, i have ip address 168.117.135 for my metask writable machine and when i hit enter you will see that uh, within few seconds it will provide you the information related to ftpnn so it says that ftp login allowed ftp code 230 uh, in one of the you can see that 21 port is completely open and it says anonymous ftp login is allowed so i can use uh, you know something like this uh, to um, to enter into the ftp server which is good for me although all these ports are open for you you can check one by one whatsoever interest you you can go for ssh which is here somewhere here um you can use um, nfs here you can see this nfs has also been opened um, although it is on the uh, different port but uh, there is irc is also open you can use any of the vulnerability of irc here um, if there is any script available in the nmap you can check uh, the same thing here right uh, maybe you can go for smb os discovery let's say uh, the same thing uh, instead of this I'm gonna say SMB dash OS dash discovery. Sorry, you hit enter, you will see that uh, it says that uh, the operating system, which is this one, is uh, of Unix uh, and Samba 3.0, 2.0 Debian system, having an advised computer name, um, and it's a work group, and system time is so and so. So it is telling you all about uh, SMB version, which has been used inside this Metasploitable 2, right? So it is basically enumerating the OS operating system information. Uh, so this way you can also go for SSH host key, like um, same thing. I'm gonna use the script and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that uh, equals to SSH. 
and then maybe host key which will provide you if any key is available uh, you can see there are ssh host keys available with an algorithm of dsa and rsa is being available and if you can crack this key then you can find some some use useful password you can see uh, the 22 is open and they have some keys which is encrypted using rsa and dsa i hope uh, this is pretty good to uh, find vulnerabilities um, there are many other things many useful information you can grab from nmap security engine however metasploitable 2 uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not enumerating that many vulnerabilities using Nmap, but you can try and practice. Uh, I have not configured uh, my Metasploitable 2 in a way where I can find different vulnerabilities. Although I can do uh, the same thing with my Xtreme machine, but the problem is uh, the resource. I don't have a very good computing power in my uh, machine, and that's why I cannot use two parallel virtual, virtual machines. Although I have shown you that how you can, uh, you know, go for this uh, finding vulnerabilities, you can use the same techniques here you have seen in the command prompt uh, to find different vulnerabilities in the other target, targeted machines. Windows is a good source to find vulnerabilities because uh, it is not that um, stable operating system. They have a lot many different bugs and uh, faults in the operating system and that you can resemble here in the uh, Debian systems right with the help of uh, the security engine of Nmap. I hope you're gonna like it. Uh, there are different other platforms uh, available in the market by which you can you know find the these vulnerabilities and one of the best one is uh, the next pose. If you if you go to the website here uh, to the next pose um, let me just uh, uh, power it off um, so that we can uh, use our the computing power let me close it down and if i go to my here i'm sorry if i quickly go to the um, well you can see here that it is taking too much of time and it is because uh, i i I do not know, but let's see. Okay, so I have uh, an expose here, and if you go to the next pose, well, it is a very big uh, framework to find. It is a scanner basically, but it is a vulnerability scanner, uh, so it is missing. Uh -huh. uh, okay, and uh, it is because I don't have net or something else is happening. Okay, you can see that uh, there is an expose vulnerability scanner, uh, it is available for trial versions. Uh, basically so that's why it is also one of the disadvantage of um, see you can use next post for free but it's uh, for 30 days you can try it right um, I have tried it but again it is a very bigger framework so you can use a complete uh, uh, machine specifically for next pose which eventually gonna tell you that tell you vulnerabilities uh, whatsoever IP address you provide in the next pose machine so uh, the next pose is a very big framework which will expose different vulnerabilities of your target machine you can install it uh, however it is a very paid software and not a free version free version is available for 30 days i have tried it if you want any steps uh, to install this you can easily find it on internet uh, although you can chat in the forums if you have any question i'm gonna help you in there uh, I have preferable screenshots for that as well, but you can see that uh, the earlier screen looks like this um, here. Uh, see, you can, it will take some time. Um, I know it is a little hard for to wait, but you can see initially you will get uh, something like this screen, which will install it, uh, and the database port is 5432. Remember, and the next pose is working on a port number 3780. Remember, then you need to provide some uh, username and password, something like that, a kind of account you are creating here, and then you can see that localhost 3780. If you click on this uh, link your browser is gonna open and uh, within few seconds a few minutes basically uh, a, a credential uh, pop-up box gonna open where you have to provide your login and password i'm sorry so this will uh, open uh, maybe if i don't have maybe um, something like this screen will come up 
you can see then it will the security console is going to be initialized which will take a hundred percent here uh, so until that you have to wait so once the security console is going to be initialized you will get a screen uh, which is uh, i have not saved it but uh, i'll show you what screen look like in the uh, next pose so that you can get a picture it looks something like this and this is the dashboard of Nixpose here where you just have to provide um, what you can say uh, the IP address um, of whatsoever target you are having so like this just provide the IP address and then several others other options you have to uh, check but it completely depends on the target target machine and your requirement um, in Expose is a very bigger framework I cannot elaborate all these things in a very short video um, but uh, there are different uh, several references available over the market in the in the, in the internet uh, you can read the readme files or any document file of Nexpose. You, you can get a better idea on it. You can use Nexpose to find vulnerabilities. So there are two tools. One is, uh, there are three actually. Nessus we have seen. We have seen Nmap um, security engine. And then Nexpose is the third one. Um, although it is not open source, it is 30 days trial. Uh, so three tools. In the next session, we're going to see the another uh, module by which you can find vulnerabilities. Right, I hope you like it and I will see you in the next session.